Hi everyone and welcome back to another game dev journey experiment. I'm again comparing Unity and Godot by looking at how easy it is to accomplish simple tasks. Today I will be implementing the movement and animation of the 2D sprite from the famous Godot tutorial called Dodge the Creeps. You should certainly check that out if you're new to the engine and I will leave a link in the description. Right, so this is the end result of the experiment. Over here we have our little character walking in Godot. And over on the right hand side we have the same effect in Unity. Keep watching if you want to see how it was done. Right, let's jump right into Godot. Please note that for convenience I've already created folders for my sprites in both engines and I've put the sprites there already. All right, first thing we're going to do is create a node and we'll just create an animated sprite node. Right, now we're going to go and add the sprite frames and we are going to drag our sprites in. This is the walking frames and we'll rename this walk create a new animation we'll call it fly and these are the flying frames all right now all we need to do is create a script let's rename this to player and create a script okay so here we go I'm going to speed up the coding a bit. Full code will be provided in the description. run it here we go okay, right he's facing right left he's facing left down he's going down up he's going up and he can't escape the bounds of the screen okay so very similar same effect achieved in unity and Godot right jumping straight into unity here we just have a simple 2d scene and like I said, my sprites are already in a folder, so they're easy to access. What you want to do is uh, take your two sprites, because this is going to be the walking animation. Drag them in and release. Unity will ask you to set up a new animation. And uh, we can actually create a folder for it. So let's make a new folder called animations go in there and this is going to be our uh, right animation for walking right save it now we can go ahead and get our animations folder and we can double click it connect it up here right so this is for <coughs> walking right and we can create a new one now um, for walking left create a new clip let's call it left and let's go to our sprites and let's drag left in left one left two okay, let's just drag in the first one go 12 and we'll drag in the second one go let's make a new animation for up and let's grab up in fact let's just do it one at a time up jump ahead 12 frames and put in number two Okay, let's make a new animation for down. And let's take our first. 
first one in. Jump ahead to our frames. Go and drop in our second one. And let's make one more animation for idle. And all we need is our little idle sprite. Okay, those are our animations. Now, what we need to do is set them up to play. So we need to actually go into the animator and organize this. Okay, so we'll have left, um, right, up, down, and idle. And then there's a way to exit the animation. And there's the any state which we'll use as well. At the moment, this is the default animation, which I'm going to change to idle. Uh, so I'm going to set this as the default state. Idle is the default animation. Now let's set up walking left. Okay, so we want to transition from any state to left. So I'm going to create a transition. And I'm going to click on the transition and we're going to have to add a few parameters here. We need a parameter for horizontal movement and a parameter for vertical movement. So we've got our two parameters. Now, if we go to our transition, we can uh, have a condition. So we can add a condition. When you want to transition from any state to left, you your horizontal is going to be less than zero because you're moving to the left. When you want to transition from any state to right, your condition horizontal will be greater than zero because you're moving to the right. If you want to transition from any state to up, your condition will be that the vertical will be greater than zero because you're moving up. Transition from any state to down and your condition is that the vertical is less than zero. Um, one thing because it's two-dimensional one thing you should do on all the settings for all of your transitions is removed remove the fixed duration set it set the transition duration to zero and don't allow it to transition to itself so just go and do those for all of them in 3d you might have some time you want some time to uh, elapse before you change your animations but in two dimensions we just want to switch now none of these animations will stop playing at the moment because they aren't linked to exit so we need to be able to transition to exit so if you're moving right and you want to stop moving right we've got to specify how that happens so when you want to stop moving right we don't want to have any exit time we don't want durations Okay, but we do have a condition. The condition to make us stop moving right is um, your horizontal movement will be less than 0 0.001. The reason why I'm making it a strange, strangely small number like that is because this property, this parameter is a float. We don't have a less than equals here. So I'm just saying as soon as we start approaching zero, we've got to stop and we can do the same thing for left remember our settings and our condition is that our um, horizontal will no longer be greater than negative 0.001 so as we approach zero from the left hand side we also stop moving now we'll do it for the up and down as well. So up, change our settings, our condition. 
is that the vertical now will um, be less than 0 0.001 and we'll do it for down and our condition is the vertical is no longer um, greater than negative 0 0.001 Okay, and now we have our transitions. The reason why animations are so tedious to do in Unity is because Unity relies on a state machine to do the animations. So each animation is a is an individual state. And the sprite can only be in one of these states at a time. So you have to transition between states in order to create your animation. Right, the next step now is to create a script for our sprite. So I'm going to create a folder for my scripts and I'm going to go into the folder and create a C sharp script and I'm going to call it player and I'm going to rename this to player so that they match and now we're going to go in and um, write the code once again I'm going to speed up the coding full code will be provided in the description Unity and we click on the scene okay we click on the player you notice now we've exposed uh, now we can add the sprite to the player so we can drag it onto him okay now the player has a script here and there's that animator variable we created but it doesn't have an animator yet so we're going to drag the animator on to the animator there and now if we put our game here next door okay much smoother movement up down there we go he can't escape the world he's animated and if you actually want to see the animations playing while it plays you can see it transitioning up down left right you can see it transitioning between the states okay so that is 2d animation in unity and 2d animation in godo thank you very much for joining me i hope to see you again next time goodbye